Hey everyone, welcome back to another 31 minute podcast. Well, George. Hello. Steve. George. Hello. Hello. Steve. <coughs> Hi, mate. How are you? I wouldn't do a podcast in the afternoon for anyone. Oh, thank but you. I am for you. <laughs> Thanks, we, we, we want your brain here it's, and yourself. It's not that much of a brain, yeah. but thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I have to say, like, the amount of messages, people, you know how many people ask me for your, how do I contact him? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Good luck trying to get him to answer. I actually thought you were winding me up when we were sitting at lunch and you showed me your yeah, phone. I yeah, I literally, did. someone yeah. literally while I was sitting at lunch, I said, "You're winding me up." That's not true. <laughs> no, very good. So um, I've got some questions to ask you and a whole lot of other stuff. Is yep. that right? This one, this podcast is going to go a little bit longer today. Um, I might get Jackson. Let's, can we just go straight into the questions? Go because there's probably about twenty, I'd say, but there's, they're really good ones. Um, I'll just get Jackson to find it on here first. Um, Do I need to warm up? No. <coughs> okay. Um, actually, um, while Jackson's finding those questions, you just gave Jordan a really good tip, mm. and which you know I've yeah. I've I've I think he's he's a bit of a fashionista, yep. loves fashion, and you were just saying, be mindful of who you're presenting Audience. to. Yeah, mm. or I think uh, this is what I do. I'm always very mindful of my audience. So yeah. if I'm meeting um, a client who is a you know an older gentleman who's been you know in the business for years and is just an older investor i'll always wear a suit um if it's an older guy i'll wear a tie um they it's it's respect for them they're not going to look at you and say wow that's really cool wearing a t-shirt under your jacket with runners mm. they're just going to think you don't understand them yeah where like they have a language <clears throat> it's a language yeah because yeah, you were just saying to jordan which i found very interesting um because jordan look jordan's on the cutting edge of fashion yeah. with corporate but he also dresses for success every day yeah um funny enough we got photos done yesterday and tara said gee jordan looked good he looked, had a black shirt i saw on. them i saw yeah, them. black shirt cool. on gray suit yeah. and she said he looked amazing yeah so um but i thought it was really interesting when you said going to see older an older couple um they mm. might have been in the home for 40 50 years and if jordan walked in in a suit and joggers yeah they'll they switch would off. probably find that even well, though it's a, a stylish thing to do it doesn't speak their language. It doesn't speak their language. Mm. And I think the, the, the point of difference that Jordan has is the ability to take the product, the property, to the market digitally, mm. right? So if you're on board with them by virtue of your dress and the way you present, they're on board with what you're doing. Mm. Where if you, that you start off with, oh, who's this? Now I'll show you something digitally. Whoa, it's just, you've got all these touch points that just don't make sense to them. Mm. You, you've, got to be, you, you've got to be able to relate to the person. And you've seen, like, I'll wear a T-shirt sometimes. Mm. I'll wear, you know, expensive shirts other times. Mm. Um, it, it depends on the audience. Um, I'll, again, I, as I was saying to Jordan, I'll go out for lunch with clients, T-shirt and a literally suit and T-shirt, you know, mm. and the person will go, oh, that's cool. Mm. Because I know that's what they they, they gel with. They, they gel with, or you know, just a t-shirt and a cool watch. Because we're talking about watches, yeah. You know, and so that's what I know they're going to gel. You take with. your watch off when you go to lunch with me, or you just can't. I, be yeah, I do, mate. I do. <laughs> no, you, while you get the I, question, I do because I know that you're not going to appreciate it. <laughs> Steve walked in and went, "Check out my watch," and you went, "Yeah." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, normally you know, show me your oh, leg. He goes, show oh, me your leg. Steve goes, I'll, I'll do you know how hard this watch is to <laughs> find? <laughs> okay, we're going to get straight into the questions, Jackson. Hello everybody. Um, should I save cash to lump to have a lump sum uh, from James Boyd? Should I save cash to have a lump sum to invest or start investing now? To, uh, again, none of this is financial advice, by the way. Yeah, none yeah, of this is financial around advice. This. Steve is not here to give financial advice. It's not what it He's is. here to give what I would advice. do. What I would do. Yeah, what you would do. What I would do. So, in the instance of cash, generally, it's to me. It's, it's a storage mechanism. I, I actually hate having it, to be honest with you, because it's uncomfortable. Because I know that things, are, you know, that they print it and it's rubbish and it's devaluing. So let me ask all you the, this then. Yeah. You, have you, a lot, you have a lot in the bank. I know what you have in you the know, bank. You've asked me. Yeah, I've told I, you. you have a lot in the bank. And, uh, relatively, it's not. It's not. I, mean, it, no, well, really, I understand relatively, but you do have a lot of money in the bank. So why is it there? Um, looking for like op right now, looking yep. for opportunities. Okay, so right now is looking for opportunities. Uh, okay, but the point the point about the um, are you going to get rid of that out of your account? Yeah, I've already yeah I've already deployed a fair bit. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Um, so the um, <clears throat> the, to me, 
the 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 cash is mm. just a mechanism to invest it. That's its only purpose. Mm. It's a mechanism to in, invest it. So it depends on the track that the person's on for me. So what that means is that if the person is extremely happy being, and we use the example before as a cleaner, and they earn X amount an hour, and they're but they're loving it. Like that's their job. That's mm. what they do, and they're the best they can be at that. Then the investment is probably different to someone who is needs the cash for a business to run it and they have to just put it away in, in lumps. Can I break it down for a minute yeah. before we get too far off as mm. norm, normal people yep. like me? So I ring you for advice all the time. Yep. And we, we just talk. Yep. Not advice, sure. we just talk. Yeah, we, we just shoot the, wind, yep. shoot the breeze. George, jump in whenever you want, mate. Mm. So you, you yeah, so how much, sorry, we had a bit of an That's IT okay. issue. So keep how much in the bank? Um, I would say you need three months of expenses okay. as a bare minimum. So the average person, three months of expenses. Just living expenses. If it's, in the if, bank at all times. If, if they have a PAYG yeah. job, right? Mm-hmm. If you're, it, it's very different if you run your own business. Because you have none. Well, because you have, <laughs> because you have none, but also that should be the thing you're pumping it into to grow it. Because right. that has the best return on investment. Mm. The you know, business, yeah, correct. The business, mm. because... Property, while it's fantastic, is the least mispriced equity you can buy, right? The least mispriced. So what does that mean? That means that it's great to invest in property because it's going to have the least amount of downside because it's priced every day. Mm. You know the prices. You can look on the net. Right, there's right. plenty of people in it. Where um, equities, for example, what Michael does, um, algorithms buy them nowadays, computers buy for funds and they go up and they go down and they can't be too heavily weighted. So there's no emotion. They just sell them off. Well, you can't sell off 20 houses in three seconds. Mm. That's the benefit of holding it in property. So what was the other part of that question, Jack? Um, was it? Well, should you have it in a lump sum? Do I say cash to have it in a lump sum to invest it or should I say invest it without putting it? Okay, okay. So, so the answer there is, <clears throat> I think, the, this is for me, I think the answer is the goal. You've got to you've got to know what you want to do. You've got to know where you want to be. Mm. And as I've said before, if you know where you want to be, all the miscellaneous on the way, uh, you know, are, are inconsequential. So all what does prob- that mean? Can you break it down for me? So um, know where you want to go. So this guy's. So asking- if the guy wants to own a house, okay, then then you probably you've got to ask yourself, what are you going to invest the money in if you're on your way to a house? Now, mm. if the person has a job they're not going to be that skilled at, at, um, at investing, right? So it's not like you can, you're going to be able to make 20% on your money. Mm. And you and I had that conversation mm. ages ago, which is That's about me. That's invest. Me. No, but investing in and the guy worrying so about it. I've got it. no idea about investing. And I've told you, don't do it. Yeah. I don't do it yeah. because it's not, it's not you, mm. right? And you worry about it, you look at it and you'll think about it and you'll go, I burnt that, mm. right? So the problem with um, putting it into an investment that you think is going to make 20% to buy the house it's not. So you're better off just to save it, I think, and just put it away, put it away, put it away. No, so reverse engineer it. Say the house is a million dollars. I need 100000 What do I need to put away each month to get to 100000 in this timeline as a deposit? And can I put that into something really simple like a um, bond you know, investment that'll make me 3 or 4% or simple, 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 simple. Risk Don't try, free. Risk free. Don't try and reinvent the wheel. If that is your, if if that is what you want to do, and you want to risk it, learn about it. Don't you know just have a go because someone else tells you. You know how many people? I mean, when one works with us, and another guy I just heard about as well, they they one guy borrowed all this money, put it in the shares, and lost it all. You know, he's got a loan, and he's got to pay it off. And another guy just said another guy did the same thing, like lost all his money. Um, so it's like, yeah, you're right. What but I, I, I've told you before, I don't listen to anybody. Mm. I do the research. I listen. Mm. That's interesting. Now I do the research mm. and I, I try and learn about it myself. But And if you think, oh, that's too hard. I don't have the time. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's just so, simple. So just don't do it. you're saying to this guy, say, know the goal. So know what, the goal. So what are you saving for? Yeah. And then know so what if he's, that if he's, like. So for example, if, he, if his goal is to own some, some crypto. Let's take Jackson. Take Jackson, okay. Jackson wants to buy a house. Then just save it. A little cottage. Just save it. Okay. Just save it. Just because what else are you going to go into? Because Jackson, okay, Jackson's a prime example. And Jackson and I are going to have this conversation later. Um, Jackson's, this is his business. 
This is what he should be working at. This is what he should be learning. This is what he should be getting better at all the time. Not worrying about what crypto is doing. This. Mm. Every little step. You, you and I had the conversation yeah. on the way, mm. right? And that is that every brick you build in your reputation saves you phone calls. Mm. How do you get to success? It's 100 phone get calls really away. That's all, yeah. No, it's 100 phone calls away. Yeah. That's all it is. It's just 100 phone calls. But the difference is you and I can do it in five phone calls because you and I have chased something this week. It's taken five phone calls yeah. each. And the problem is Jackson sees that and he goes, why is that? It's all too hard. Well, it's mm. not because we've built the bricks. So this guy asking this, if he wants to invest in the stock market, then and that's what he wants to do, and then he needs to work out. Then what, you start. Then you start. Then you start so you because if that's you, no, you don't need to say because you got a dollar cost average, right? So you you buy one today, buy one tomorrow, buy one the day after one, and keep going and learning it. it. Uh, not learning it. You should know what you're investing in, but if you really believe in it and you really really believe in it. The market will go up and down because of what I've just explained. Algorithms buy and sell stock mm. and they mm. can be undervalued and they can be overvalued. It can happen. Mm. You know, that's mm. the, the skill of the good guys like like um, Michael, for example. That's what he does. He right. reads the market to go, that's undervalued because right. they've been oversold. I'll buy them Dumps and in. just take a clip. Mm -hmm. Don't get too technical with us. It's quite similar to the last one. Would you buy your first property now or do you think there is better buying ahead? Um, the the I once had a uh, I think I've already said this, but I once had someone say to me, I asked them when's the best time to buy. They said yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Because the answer is I don't know. Nobody knows. Um, I love there, that. There's all these reasons I could tell you. I, I could tell you every side. And there's you know there's an inverse proportion between knowledge and success. Meaning if you know too much, you won't succeed. You know because you overanalyze it and you don't do. The answer is just do. That's what's happening in the market, which interests me so much <clears> too. <throat> Everybody is trying to pick the market yeah. at the moment. Everybody. Everybody's an expert. But I all could not care less. M you and me both. Yeah, like, I'm honestly, buying properties. You're yeah. buying properties. Yeah. Matt's buying properties. Yeah. We're the ones that know property. Yeah. But all these people out here get trying to, oh, my, they're going to come back 10%. It, it really interests me that way of thinking. People with no experience around it try and pick markets. Because also they're not, they're trying to... <clears throat> I've got a view and that is that people sell investments because they shouldn't have bought them in the first place. Right. So for me, I like what I do. Mm. I enjoy what I do and I make a living out of what I do. The other things that I invest in, I don't need to sell them if, if they're like property. And what do you long. invest in? Mm. Um, a few different things. But Name that, them. Uh, crypto. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what's, stock. What's, your, what's your pick on that? Um. It's hard. I, I like Ethereum. I think Ethereum is very good. Um, I think XRP uh, and Ripple is could be great, but the problem is it's only a payment gateway, and you don't need they don't need to hold the money for the the the, the XRP for very long. Mm. And so the issue you have there is it well, might, it might go nowhere. Don't go too deep. Yeah, it might. It might. It might. mine. So okay, okay, it might what go. What else no, do you invest in? It might go nowhere. Uh, and, and and shares. Okay. And property. and property. Yeah, and property. Yeah. And businesses. And business. Yeah. Yeah, and okay. businesses. And people. <laughs> and people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, yeah. What, just quickly while you get an actual, where did that start though? Because you're you're a very experienced investor now and if your net worth is a lot, I'm sure. But it's different for somebody <laughs> like me, right? Mm -hmm. Like I'm not going to go and risk investing in a business unless it's my own business. And I'm probably not going to go and risk the crypto, crypto market if I haven't bought, bought my first property. And I'm probably not going to try and understand shares unless that's all I've ever done. So, Cracking question, Mike. Yeah. So um, does it depend where you're up to in your investing journey? No. No, no that's the best question what you can ever ask. Yeah. Okay, i tell you what that is. And <clears throat> Matt and I have actually had this conversation. And that is, it's called life's experience. And you get to pick the person. And you invest in the person. Because a business is only the people. It's a person and the people. It's not this thing. Sure, brand is important and all that, but it's the people. As you get more experienced in life and learn more about people, I think, it, you know, Blink, the book called Blink, Malcolm, written by Malcolm Gladwell. Mm, I read it. Yeah, it's a five-second rule. And that mm. is that you pick it. You know it. 
Mm. You know, you know it. And can I can I just jump in mm. there? Yeah, the, the, on the blink thing. Mm. So true. And that statue, the Greek statue. Did you read? You yeah, remember yeah, that part? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They, yeah. The guy said it. It's a fake. He saw it in it's one. A fake. They paid a hundred million dollars. This museum had it all checked out or something. Yeah. And the guy looked and said, "That's a fake." No way. And they he's said, in, "No, it's not because yeah, we've not. tested it. We've done instincts. this. We've done that." And it was his anyway. instincts. And then yeah. it, he was right. Then he was right. He was right. Yeah. Anyway. And he second guessed himself. Do you get that now? Um. What do you mean? Like do, do, Greek that, statues? Do you, do, <laughs> they, do, do you still? Is that your st- still your philosophy? For your business now, gut feel or strategy? Yeah, um, uh, with a hundred percent. So you pretty much make a decision on a deal or a person within five seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. So does Matt. Yeah. Well, just with staff, he doesn't look at resumes. He doesn't look at what they've done. Nothing. He sits down with them, and in a minute, he will know if they're joining the team or not. Yeah, but I have made some. I, I go with it, and then it, I'm ruthless decision making after they start because I don't. I think everyone interviews well. Yeah, so yeah. I'm jumping mm. in, and then if it's, they're no good, I'd like. Gone. So it's I the first it. date rule. Yeah, exactly. They're always great the yeah, first yeah. date. Keep yeah. going. So that was yeah. a really good question. You, you want to yeah, see? Yeah. You want to see what they're like when they leave their, their washing on the floor? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, let me just ask you. Yeah. See, see. Uh, sometimes m- my investment at the moment is all property because mm. all we know. Yeah. I I have the ability to watch other people buy and sell property and make money and lose money, and I get all that knowledge without actually spending any of my own money. It's priceless. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's priceless. But I look at the crypto market and I put a little bit in there and like maybe a little bit in shares, but that's like 5%. The other 95% is property because that's what I know. But that's perfect. Yeah. Because so you're saying go with what you know. Absolutely go yeah. with what you know. And mm. and look, there might be something that goes you know, out of the ballpark, but the key with out of the ballpark, that's what I was saying about it's got to be over here and you don't want to sell it. It's got to be, let's say it's crypto. It's just got to be there, and you go well. I've done. You got to do the research. I've done the research, and here's why I think. And know it. But the five second rule applies to that as well. Know it. Mm. So, so in your heart, go. I've got this. And when someone says to you, "Oh, and that's no good because of this," if you know that answer, then just back yourself. Mm. Right. If you don't know that answer, go and research it, and check it, and see if you're still right, and stay in. Mm. So those things just stay in. Just leave them. But research. So the markets change, things change. But research it, keep on top of it. When I say don't listen to people, listen to the rubbish they're going to tell you. But don't do it because they're saying to do it. Don't do it because they're saying, go back to your research and go, what does that actually mean? So, for example, XRP, what does that mean? Will it go to parity for a dollar because of the transactional nature of what XRP is? Or will it go crazy? Well, it can't go crazy. It can't physically go crazy because it's only a transactional tool. Right, it it can't. It can only ever get. I think it can only ever get to parity of the dollar you're transacting in, mm-hmm. right? So anyway, that's another. I still want to talk about that, but we're going to do that later. Okay. Yeah. But um, yes. Yeah, so anyway. Next question. Is that, Did I cover off yours? on that? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, it's from Sam. He goes, "Hi, Steve. Do you pay principal and interest, or interest only on your bank loans?" Great Thanks. question. Interest only. Yeah. Yeah. Should they lock it in now? Oh, interest only. What do you mean? Why do you want to pay them off? the hell are you talking about debt, debt goes away the asset goes up okay well, think about this your, even on your principal place no i don't you don't have debt on your principal place or is it yeah yeah if, yeah. if someone has a home loan oh then you paid off then principal okay, pay that yeah, off. yeah 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 principal and then and interest only on investment interest. Yeah, of course yeah, yeah on all in just interest only that's interesting <gasps> why, why would you pay them off yeah right got to think about what it, just think about the math it's really simple got a million dollars here and I've got, I've got a house, worth, you know, I've got an asset worth $2 million and a million dollar loan on it. Right? Is this an investment? Yeah, so yeah. just think about that. I've got a mm. million dollar, $2 million property with a million dollar loan on it, an investment, getting rent in, and I've got $1 million in cash over here. I'd pay it off. <laughs> so, so you pay it off. What have you got now? <laughs> $2 million. You got the $2 million. Where <laughs> well, before you had two assets, that's still paying it for itself. Mm. And now you've got opportunity here. Yeah. You've got cash. It's opportunity. Mm. And you're going to find another one. And you're going to be able to buy it and do the same. Now you've got two of them. Mm. So you've got two $2 million properties with that other million in that. You've got $4 million worth of asset mm. paying for itself. But remember what you got? A thing called a job. You're mm. still working, so it doesn't change your life. So you pay it off. You go, <sighs> don't feel any different. <laughs> don't so feel any different. Can I, can I, hang on, hang on, wait, hey, wait. You and I had a conversation. Hey, mate. Wait, you and I had a conversation <laughs> like, when you're away. When you're away, and it was about. And I said to you mm. about buying something, and I mm. said, be careful what you wish for, because yeah. it's not that good when you get there. <laughs> Didn't I? It's it's that. So you pay it off, and you go, oh, no debt. 
No, I don't feel any different. Yeah. <laughs> I just like having no debt. I don't know what it no, is. No, but it, 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 yeah. it, as I said here before, it's it's a matter of what is productive debt and what's not. If it's uh, So just think about, go, go back 20 years, you know, the person who had, you know, I, I, okay, I'll give you a real example. Another guy I know said, I hate debt, don't want debt, don't want debt. I've got a debt on a property that I bought and it's in Bondi and I, don't, I want to pay it off. And I said, when did you buy it? 25 years ago. I said, okay, how much money did you have then? He goes, mate, I only had 15 grand. And I said, so he bought the property. Everything was the 15 grand. He goes, yeah. He said, what's it worth today? He goes, about two mil. I said, okay. So do you understand what's just happened? Had he have done nothing, he would have just had his 15 grand. Mm. But at the time he stretched, he stretched and he paid, you know, 500 mm, grand for this place. He stretched, it was uncomfortable. Now 15 grand on 2 million. Yeah. But he still got the debt. Yeah. Who cares? Just leave it. It's paying rent. <laughs> it's paying rent. And he's getting X amount a week. It's costing him nothing. Like, so just leave it there with the debt. Just leave it. Yeah. So long as you're not buying a Lamborghini with it, so long as you're not yeah. buying rubbish with it, just leave it there. The bank will soon come to you. And, I mean, they're, they're your partner in this, right? Mm. So the bank will come to you and say, we need principal and interest now. And you go, why? Well, they've valued the asset and it's dropped or, you know, the market's... Sh- they'll tell you. Mm. Otherwise, they'll say, just keep paying the interest. They don't want the money back. Yeah, they want you to keep paying interest. It's what I do. I don't want the money back. You don't want the money back. Next question. Um, Sviko said, just want to say, that I'm 55 years old. These these podcasts have made the greatest shift in my mindset. Um, Deb Me said, is another Great Depression around the corner? So Sorry, for... <laughs> People who don't understand teenagers talk, that was two questions in one. <laughs> one guy said, great podcast, keep going. Deb said, is a great depression around the corner? Um, nobody knows. Nobody knows. What do you think? Um, what I think is that the, the way things are, the way they're cranking up interest rates so fast, it will be... It, not catastrophic, it'll be big, but it, for a really short period of time because they're winding up interest rates so fast. Banks are doing nothing. They're not l- loaning money out. Um, the, the buyers completely have changed in their bracket because of affordability. Um, I, I think that it will correct a lot faster than, you know, uh, the Great Depression of you know, 1930 and th- those, I don't, I don't think that um, we're going to see, I don't think we're going to see it. I mean, you're um, in, you're in this field, this is what you're in. And I'm so still lending. Your whole business I'm is still this, lending. So I'm still, I'm still lending. Has your lending criteria changed now? Mm. Yeah. Just what I do. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bit technical to go into. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. For sure. But you um, don't, you don't loan to Bob no. and Sam down the road buying a $800,000 house. You're, you lend different people, but as, are you changed? Your, yeah. yeah. Completely. So a bit, bit more, like tougher, like you, like as in uh, you're I'm changing my screening const- things differently. Yeah, or? construction lending's different because I, um, two years ago that you could see the market was just going to keep ticking on, and if you got it a bit wrong, it was going to be ten percent higher. So there's your margin of error. I can see that um, that it's not going to just keep ramping on at the same rate that it was because it's physically impossible and it doesn't make sense that it would keep on going. Like look at what we've seen. We've seen doubling mm. Mm. Uh, in two years. Mm. Look, look at what I bought of you. Yeah. The yeah. change in value of that. Yeah. You know, and that's um, ridiculous. Yeah. I thought I paid too much. Mm. Didn't I? I said to you, should I do this? I, yeah. I said, get my mind right. Yeah. And as a mate, you said, just do it. And mm. I said, that's not a very good sales <laughs> skill, mate. I expect more from you. Because <laughs> I meant it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the point I make about that is that that, that shouldn't happen. It shouldn't mm. happen at this rate. It's, mm. it's crazy, right? Mm. So, you know, when people are saying, oh, it's come off 5%, well, has it really that you're just wanting 5% more than the reality, you know? And the one that was just sold is one that got a ridiculous price. If we take, like you would with anything else, the median over the last, you know, two years, you go, where are we now? Oh, okay, we're still above. Mm. You know, we're still mm. above. So um, I think, you know, the market So we're needs still in it. a reasonable <clears throat> position is what you're saying. Well, there's going to be no supply is the big key. So in the next two years, there's going to be no supply because no one's... Of what? property of like units no one's funding construction so all the lenders are going no we don't want to do it because they're all thinking it's going to come off right because they so no one's wanting to do it so there's going to be no supply so Mm. we're going to see an uptick because of no supply supply demand supply demand yeah they've just changed immigration as well they've just brought that back in 
two hundred thousand people or something. Yeah. Mm. The next few months. Yeah. Joe Biden just lets them walk over the border. Yeah, no. That's a different. That's a yeah, different yeah. topic. We need um, that. Though. It, it we, is. We, we need it. We yeah. we have to have. Yeah, well, you know, no, have to have more no people. Where did? Oh, one second, Jack. Where the people go? Where did, where, oh, I, where, was know. it me and you talking yeah. about that? Like, where hang going? on. Where are all these people not being able to fill jobs? Before you couldn't get a job. Now it's like. Yeah. We we we, can't find we seriously stuff. we had lunch. The Where have they gone, Steve? And Answer no, me that. I don't know. You know you, everything. You said, That's you, why you're here. You said to the we were talking about to to the wait staff. Yeah. And they were saying, Oh, we're short of people. Yeah. Where'd they go? We don't Where know. Where did they go? We don't know. <laughs> there's enough people before. Now all of a sudden I, there's not. I, I was in Did they die in COVID? I don't know. Well, I yeah. was in Europe, right? Um yeah. just a month ago. And got picked up to go to the airport. The guy picks me up and says, I'm so sorry I was running late. Um it's, we don't have enough people. And I said, oh, that's interesting. He said, during before COVID, we had 3,000 drivers. He said, then during COVID, we thought, th- he was the boss. He said, I, ha- I had to get rid of people. I was so worried. He said, we went, we've got 800, I went down to 850 people. From 3,000? 3, from 3,850. He said, and I could only just support them. He said, now I need the 3,000. I've got not one person apply. He's only got the 850. He amazing. said, I don't know where they've gone. It's amazing. So I don't know where they've gone. That- they saved all the government handouts and they're on the lounge. <laughs> well, that's, I don't know. Uh, next one is from Aaron. He says, rent where you live and invest for flexibility. Also, the PPR is a liability, not an investment, question mark. Yes. Um, not sure yes. what that means. But anyway. Principal place of residence is yep. a liability. Okay. So if, if it's not, um, if it doesn't have income, it's a liability. So rent where you live and buy investments, is that your? No. No. Because the rental always, you know, uh, uh, my my view on that is um, just live. Uh, I was saying, to, we were saying to Jackson, <laughs> live more simply. You know, mm. live in a nice little apartment, live more simply, and then have your investments. Mm. I mean, the problem with that theory is what people tend to do is go, okay, I've got these investments, so I can rent a three thousand dollar. You know, they'll go overs mm. with mm. where they're going to rent. Um, I, I don't. Like I, I could imagine 15 years' time still having rent to pay because in 15 years the rent will be two grand a week, mm. right? So you've mm. got to at keep least. that. Yeah, you've got to yeah. keep that income coming in at that at that pace. Mm. I, I would all Whereas for if me you had a, like a, a moderate home. Yeah, you'd own it. Just own nothing. it. Nothing. Own it. And then and then start. Yeah, and yeah. you can do those two things together. You don't have to go. Oh, because that was my mindset when I was younger. I thought, how does this work? You got to pay this thing off, and then you got to start doing that. Because I'm a math guy, right? The math doesn't work. How do they do that? Doesn't make any <laughs> sense. It's not possible. Well, you don't. How do you get out of debt? You get more debt. So what that means is you have your house, yeah, and you, and you borrow money for that, and then you start buying other properties, which as much as you can, and then you sell two of them, and now that lump sum pays your house off. Mm. But you don't try and do it with your income. You oh, can't. With, you you can't earn growth. a. You, you know. You can't mm. earn ten million dollars, but you can make ten million dollars, right? So you the can't. market so run makes me it. This. That's what you're saying. The market makes the money. Yeah. Yeah. So you. So in a business, you can make. You you, you can make ten million dollars. You sell your business, or or you or you sell a part of your business, or your business starts making money. But you can't go and earn. Like if you try and pay yourself two million bucks a year. If you can, if your business makes that much, you're paying half it in tax. So let just run me through this. Mm. So if you're like a working your job, you buy a house, mm. you pay 20 percent. Yep, pay a bit off. Principal and interest. Principal yeah, and interest there always. And as soon as you can buy one Another or two one. or three yeah, investments, just keep going as soon next, as you can. Next, yeah, and then in ten years' time. Well, not necessarily as soon as you can. Just. Well, as soon as you you can, like when not, you're able, not not just going. Oh, I need to just keep no. borrowing it, and I'm in the hole now, and no. now I need to sell them. You've got to stick to the rule that these are investments that are over on the side that I want to keep all of them. Oh, yeah. But what'll happen in time is that you'll have five, and you will nearly have your house paid off because they'll all have risen in value, and then you can just sell one. You pay your house off. Right. House is so that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So buy- you don't need to go. I need to pay because you'll end up. 30 years trying to pay your house off and you haven't done any other investing. Mm. You, you need more debt to pay off your debt. Yeah. So buy one, so buy a moderate house yep. and then buy one when you can. Yep. An investment yep. at the appropriate time. Yep. 
and, and then at the appropriate time. Like imagine time, it. Okay, I'll give you an example. Wait, no, this wait, is even better. Wait, this is even better. Wait, you've got to okay. get in my simple mind. All right, all right. And then you go, and then you buy the next one at the appropriate time. Yeah. And that might be five years apart or four yeah, years apart. Yeah, it might be apart. four years apart, yeah. Yeah. And how many would you need? Three? Aha, that was what I was going to say. Imagine if you did this. Imagine if you bought up here, in right? You buy a nice little one-bedroom apartment in Terrigal, right, that you live in, and then you go and buy weatherboards in South Gosford. And then, so now you just got a tenant in there, but by the time 10 years catches up and you own three of those, they're now development sites. Yeah. So now you, you're not just going to sell it at market. Someone needs to buy it off you and you've tripled your money. Mm. Guess what? It's happened overnight. No, it hasn't. It's happened over 10 years of work. So it's about getting yourself in a place to be able to buy the next one. Yeah. The but the right next time. one, you've got to think about what the next one is. Like yeah. that's what I'm saying. The next one could be a, a weatherboard in an area that you see has got potential for it to be units. Mm. Um, oh, the zoning might change on that in 10 years' mm. time. Okay, let's buy that and just rent it out and, and buy as many of those as you can that you can afford to and you just shut your eyes to it. Rent so them if we out, go back, back to, to what job. you said originally – if this becomes your investment strategy, you've got to get good at understanding it and knowing it. So that's when, what are we going to invest in when we yeah. buy property? Yep. Yeah. Because the thing about that is exactly that. Yeah. You, 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 if, you, if you learn about it and understand, I mean, the benefit of property is, as I say, it's not that mispriced. So the, the market will sort of determine it. You know, you can buy the place in, in you know, South Gosford and the market's going to determine the price. Mm. And so long as you have a, uh, an understanding of what's being built and what will be built and where the areas are. Mm. You don't really need to understand the zoning. You don't need to study zoning maps. You don't need to be a developer. You just get the fair idea that, yeah. okay, in 10 yeah. years' time... This is the area that I like. Yeah. This is a sort of... These look cute. Yeah. I might, over time, try and buy a couple of these in a row. But uh, you know what that is? What? That's where you guys come in. Yeah. Because you know it. Mm. So having a good agent who's not trying to just line their own pocket mm. and wants to build relationships with clients, which you guys do, and I'm being genuine about that, that that's what you do, you then advise them accordingly and go, look, I reckon this could happen. Well, that's where an agent's worth all the money in the world mm. because you're in the market. You're doing that research for them. Mm. Yep, got it. Okay. <clears throat> Um, should you pay off your mortgage faster or buy and enjoy things you love when you're young and slowly pay it off? No, you should, you <laughs> should pay it off. Don't, don't buy the, you, uh, for me, don't buy the useless things when you're young. It's the, it's the worst thing you can do. Mm. I mean, you don't need to live a miserable life, but that's the, that's the thing about enjoying what you do. So would you have a car loan or no car loan no, when no. you're younger? Never. I've actually never ever borrowed money for a I car. I know you. No, no, <laughs> no, I'm not talking about you. No, not even. Not, no, but I was reality. I was like, eighteen. I was you know, eighteen. Most people aren't you. So I was like, eighteen. No, I never had a lease. I never. No, no. Not even a lease. Why? Don't know. That's, yeah, here that, we go. This is a well, great. Well, this, well, this is a good topic well, because everyone topic. says I can't oh, see why I would spend. Here we go. Why would I spend seventy thousand dollars on a car when I could pay put seventy thousand dollars into a property and lease a car? The don't extra buy the car. Don't buy but the what car. Do you, what do you buy? Just you buy something drive something. you can afford. Even 30000 I'm a fan 000. of having no car loan. So keep going. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No. Oh, that's interesting. No, that's just ridiculous. Because what happens then is, I'll tell you exactly what happens in the mindset, is that the person then thinks, okay, well, I can afford forty, and now they've, uh, you know what, they'll actually, I could buy the $60,000 one. Car leases, they'll lend you whatever you want. Mm. Right, so now all of a sudden you go. I've got an eighty thousand dollar car, and aren't I cool? But I've put this cash in over here, but the car's still burning a hole in your back pocket, and you get to the end and you don't own it. So and you, and you, and and it you got a balloon payment. So, so, so you you think Live, literally what, just buy what you can afford? Like if because, you've got, you got twenty thousand, buy a twenty thousand dollar car. It helps your mindset. I think it helps your mindset. Mm. To you know to to for me it helps your mindset. I mean. I think it, it depends on you. you, you I think it depends on your clientele um, and the and the business you're in. But I mean, some people say 
You know, people don't want to associate with someone that you know doesn't look successful, but that's rubbish. No, that's for rubbish. Me. No, no, that's oh, rubbish. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I think so that's rubbish. tell me with yeah. Jordan, where yeah. Jordan's at now. So you you have a fifty thousand to sixty thousand dollar car. Should he be paying that off? What should he be doing? If you've already now he's it. bought it. No, I'd I'd just lease it. Or you lease it. Just don't do it again. <laughs> See. <laughs> do it again. So what would you do? When just you just, sell just it, take the thirty thousand dollars out of my bank account and buy a car. Yeah, what are you going to do with 30 grand? Well, what are you going to do with 30 grand? I don't know. What are you going to buy with it? A car. Exactly. Like you said. Fixed. <laughs> I, did, I didn't, yeah, that's very interesting. It took me a long time, but I said yeah. to you the other day, like, I'll never have a car loan ever again. See, I have no it liabilities it does, apart look, the from is, a car. No, but hang on, it doesn't but, make you money. So yeah. just think of it. It's a really simple rule. Does it, does it bring me in an income? Oh, yeah, it does because of it. Now, if you're a tradie, it's different. Because you have to buy a van and you have to put your tools in it. Correct. Yeah, now, and yeah. you can't afford the van. Now you finance it. Mm. You finance it. If you have, if it's going to, if that's going to make you money. You're going to a job that you now have all the tools you want in your van. You finance it. C- can I ask a question then? Mm. So you, you, you've got a business that makes, so let's say I've got Bulma Real Estate, which is how we work. We yeah, trade yeah. as a company. Yep. You take a wage and that's got to be relative to what your investments are. So if you want to borrow again, you know the story. But you've got, at the end of the year... No, you don't have to do that. No? No, you don't have to do that at all. Because you... you oh, go, go on. And okay, okay. Well, 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 help me understand yeah, okay. this, right? So I want to buy another couple of properties. Yeah. And if I pay myself nothing out of my business, can I still get the loans? Of course. They're your businesses. Even if I don't take a wage? I don't. T- I don't even know what I take as a wage. I don't think I'm paying myself. I don't know. No. Really? Why? Why? They're your assets. I don't know. I'm maybe getting the wrong advice here. Yeah, shit advice, <laughs> <laughs> mate. That's Just why? So, 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 so can can I? I'm sorry to jump in, but this I, I've been wondering this. Okay, so I don't that, really take a wage either. Yeah, I, sort I, of do, I know. But you. sort of, but nothing like. No, like it is in reference. Like, so, no. so if you're me right now, and I w- mm. won't say what I earn, but. I have one liability. Matt said like nine million a year. Yeah, <laughs> just a shade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Market change. The market change. Market change. Yeah. Like eight like eight yeah, okay. yeah. But I have one liability, yep. which is the lease, yep. which costs me twelve twelve thousand dollars a year. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the rest is just there. Like I have an apartment that's four hundred dollars a week rent, and all the like, and nothing. Beautiful. Everything else is positive apart from the. Um, He's bought two other the, properties the apartments that are getting built. Beautiful. So and you're just that, accumulating, and, and they'll be positive too. Yeah. So you just accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. But what do I do with the rest of the money? Put it in the bank. But the, the rest of the money sitting in my business at the end of the year, whether that gets to the end of the year, is a few hundred thousand in there, whatever it is. What do I do with that then? Buy what another property. Buy more properties. Is that um, what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he just. But, but, just, I think but I'm leading into my next. I'm I think I leading into my next do. question here. But hang on, how let much me go back to that. You don't. You don't need to. Pay, the more you pay yourself, the more tax you pay. When the company, you I want to pay, pay myself nothing. Twenty nine percent, right? The only reason why I do is because I thought that I needed to show an income to They'll be able see to. They'll see all of it. The bank's going to say, what, "How do you make money? How do you live? What? Yeah, you know, how, how do you actually make yeah, money? I, I take and a wage of forty thousand dollars. No, 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 no. They'll, they'll, no, they'll say, "How are you going to pay for this house?" And you go, "Oh well, I've got this business here. I've got that company there. I've got this company there." And here's how the distribution works. That there we go. That's my income. Right. And they'll look at all of that. They'll, they'll look at all of that. And then onto that quickly. How how much would you be reinvesting back into the okay. business? So for us, reinvesting back into the business is essentially just marketing. Um. Really. I, I I can't answer that because I don't know what you require. I don't know what you need in your business to 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 grow it. But realistically, um, as you, much as you, possible. Like if you spend a dollar and you make two, yeah, yeah. then just spend it. It's all. hard to measure that. People yeah. say that oh, I spent one and I've got ten. Well, show me. Mm. And you really do that. Um, I, I think the answer is that <clears throat> you've got to sit down, go back to the what I always say, pen and paper, and I just you just write it out. I showed you my day the other day. Mm. Just write it out. It's two full scap books mm. end mm. to end now. And that's just, I write it out. I've and been paying way too much tax. Mm. Yeah, now actually, you said that. Jordan had a massive tax problem. Huge. He had to like... Huge. I had like a $50,000 tax said, bill. Mate, plus I paid... Yeah, l- I said, mate, you're not doing ma- it right. Massive amounts last year. Can you move it like this? 
This is this is probably this is probably an off the line question, but maybe I need a cuddle and some different advice. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um. I. I look. I think that at the end of the day, you don't need to pay all your money to yourself. You know, your companies are still while they're a company, it's still where you derive your income. The banks look at it and go, oh, okay, they'll want to see your P&L. Mm. I mean, mm. you've been for a bank loan. What have they asked? They, I don't really have problems with it. But That's right. But I'm saying they say to you, they don't say to you, oh, you earn 40 grand a year, yeah. go away. They say, show me where the income comes. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like they, right. they know the game. You know, they, you know, know how it works. So they'll look at and go, okay, that's in that company. Maybe that's, Steve can need. That's to look so at interesting. Stuff, but yeah, mm. thanks, Maybe Steve. Steve needs yeah, to your stuff and yeah. give you a bit of advice. That's easy. I'm happy to do that. Give us his story and how he started. Oh. Well, let, I'll, I'll, I'll help you navigate it. So, what'd you start as? <coughs> stripper. Yeah, stripper. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, my story goes a long way back. But I don't know that it's that relevant. Do in the this dot circuit. points. Because um, I'm sure people want to hear the story, but I'm sure people want to also hear his financial brain. So let's go dot points. Uh, it's not that interesting. Um, uh, you said maths. Were you always into maths? Uh, yeah, probably. Probably. Um, yeah, I, I always enjoyed it, always liked it. But I, um, you Were know, you just, a nerd at school? No. No. No, I, I actually didn't. Um, I did all my studies sort of thereafter. I actually didn't uh, – I, I performed well at school, but I didn't even finish year 12. Really? Did you always know that you were wanted to be as successful as you are now? It always had – it's funny you say that because I think you know early on, like whether it be Jackson, whether it be you, if, if you're driven, you'll sit there wondering how to do it, but you'll work at, you'll work at how to do it because you'll want it that bad. Mm. And and that's what I was saying before. You're only a hundred phone calls away from what you want. Meaning, if you really want something and you and you you desire it th- that much, you'll ring someone who'll put you somewhere, who'll then put you somewhere, and you just keep and you keep making those phone calls. The hardest thing is that most people don't know where they want to be. They don't know where that is, so they stop at twenty because it's all a bit too hard. If you just know where you want to be, and that's for you and Jackson. You'll do it. You'll just keep working at it. And, and you know, <clears throat> I was sitting there and I was actually thinking about Jackson the other day when I was sitting there. I was spending three hours That's doing... That's true. Um, Steve texted me and said he wants to meet with you. Yeah. I was sitting there and I was spending three hours doing spreadsheets. Three hours on spreadsheets. And I was doing them in the afternoon because that was my block of time for spreadsheets. I'm not getting paid for that. I, I don't make any money out of s- spending three hours on spreadsheets. But it builds my knowledge and it means that I know where every dollar is. I know about the investments. I know, I, I've, I know it all in my head. So what that does for me is that's just another brick, it's just one more brick. And it gives me respect because when I have to discuss that with a team of people, I know all of it, mm. like all of it, you know. And, and so, you know, when, for example... Um, you said the other day that Jackson finishes and goes and plays video games. Yeah. The answer should be, with all due respect, Jackson, should be that you finish, now day two starts. So 12 to 6 is your second day. 6 till 12 is day one. 12 to 6 is your second day. And on that second day that you're in, you, you it's do... the same day, but same you're preparing day. for the next day in the afternoon. Yeah, I, I break it up into that's one day, that's two days. So mm. I try and do two days. So then I've got every, So then I've got two days. Mm. Um, so on that second day, <clears throat> you should be prepping, learning more about this, researching new cameras, just mm. learning about it, chasing it, thinking... So you're watching do, other people's videos, yeah. seeing what's going on. R- ringing, listening. ringing some like, okay, what, what, where do I want to go? I want to try and get to such and such. How do I get to them? Well, I make one phone call and that won't get me anywhere. So I'll make another, but I'll, I'm going to get to that person because they're going to teach me how to be better at this because this is my thing. Mm. Or the second day, literally sit in that, in that, in an for an hour of it, sit there and do absolutely nothing, not play video games, but look out the window and think, where do I want this to be and how am I going to get there? So I need to ring this person. Mm. You know, you talk about prospecting and I think people sometimes get a bit – prospecting is just talking to people. Mm. It's just 
the conversation. It's just the touch point. And, and most people don't pick up the phone. Yeah. Because they think they've got nothing to say. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Just you want to know, you want to get here. And so if you've got a goal you want to get here, what will happen is you'll have something to say. So now you will pick up the phone. Mm. But most people go, that's good enough. That's good enough. But the answer is you can get there. What, and what, Jackson will get there. I was going to say, what age did you start investing? Just to give me a sense of where I'm up to, chasing you. Um, uh, I, Was I w- it very early? Um, uh, probably, yeah, probably early twenties, I suppose. What, when did you start early. going? Like, okay, like I'm, re- I'm like really humming now. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. But you know how, like, you, uh, no, I'm like, not. It's uh, not even close. Another like, ten years, like you, you, it just you, your wealth is in on just a whole nother position. And then again, and then I again. I don't think I don't think Steve's no. actually got any. From what I know of him, yeah, he just enjoys the sport yeah. of it. Like he's not going when I'm here, I feel good or any. Like you know how we go. Oh, when I yeah. get to here, like it's just I think with you Steve, like the sport I'm, of I'm it. I'm speaking yeah. for you, but from yeah. what I observe and we become very good friends, it's he's just enjoying it. He just loves what he does. Mm. It's like a whole. Let's create something cool. Yeah, you know, and and um, I think that for you guys. The opportunity is unbelievable because you've got time. Mm. It's the one benefit. Time is the best thing. I mean, I put up a post about time and it's what I really believe. It, time and money are the same. You can spend your money on a night out or you can spend your time playing video games. Mm. They're both wasteful. Or you can put your money into an investment and it will grow or you can put your time into how do I build this? How, yeah, how do I put another brick of respect? Because when you build the bricks of respect, you know what happens? That's what we were saying earlier. It takes three phone calls. It's not 100 anymore. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. We want to hear where you come from and all that. At 50, yeah. if you want to accelerate wealth, let's say someone's 50 years old yeah. and they... Like it amazes me how people end up on the pension. Mm. Like it, it boggles my mind how they just go... Oh, could cool. work all their life now they're on the pension. It doesn't, no, it doesn't boggle my mind at all because it's really simple math. It's the simple fact that the little bits make a big difference. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you spend the, they spend the little bits. Let's say someone's listening to this and they're 50 years old, same as me. Yeah. And they go, I want to accelerate my wealth wealth somehow. And they go, what do, what, what do they need to do? Work on them. Yeah. Because it's all the outside influence that will stop you because people don't but believe what they you invest in. No, that you can't say that. They've got they've got to know it. You can't just right. say go and invest in this because they won't know it. Yeah. And and say someone's got five grand in the bank and they invest in something and that person doubles it, they're gonna sell it because now they've got ten grand. Mm. If they only had five, it's a lot. If they've got if they've got to change this thing, the mindset of what that is. Mm. And and it's gotta be work first, just have an income and a happy existence. And then the money part, it's got to grow over time. You can't accelerate it. You can't out-trick it. The, that's the benefit of these guys. They've got time on their side. Mm, yeah, right. They could be so successful, mm. so successful, just from the little bits and just taking the little bits on board, like, you know, the fashion thing. You know, the, the, the person then respects you, you're on board, and you go, I've got five more listings from that but you won't know it they'll mm. just add up mm. they just they just add up and i think that that's the i mean so are you saying someone at 50 who hasn't really nailed it yet just can't needs, get wealthy yeah of course they can well, what, but they just they need to they need to do something they that need they to maybe know. learn a skill that maybe <coughs> like if, if photography no is no a okay or? let okay um i don't like giving real world examples give a real world example no, it's about someone we both know. That's okay. Just call him Peter. Peter. Um, someone that you and I both know. Yeah. I was talking to the other day and they were talking about how that they can't multiply their skill set. Yeah. And I said, you, you can. You could do it this way. And he said, oh, that's interesting. But the clients wouldn't tolerate it. And I said, they would because he's already told me that I know some oh, of the This is Michael, the massage person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nothing's hidden here. <laughs> Michael, the massage person. You can't tell him anything. No, it's just like it comes out. No, it just like comes out. real here. It, it Michael, the out. massage person. Okay. But we both said the same thing because yeah. I'm like, mate, you need to get leverage because yeah. you're exchanging 
$150 an hour. And he's brilliant. He's the best in the he's world. He's like a genius. Yeah. He's from another planet. He's a torturer, but he's a, yeah. he's a genius. The best, the best. Have you been tortured? I said that to him. I had it today. He was talking about that. Oh, was he, he, was, he said, I'm creating a Michael 2.0. That's what he was telling yeah. me the whole oh, story about today. Yeah, I think so, you're having an impact there. there. So, yeah. okay, so he's got to like to have an impact. How to create leverage. I think I had an impact himself. on you when I had that conversation with you the other day, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every you, time. You, you got another question, yeah. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> so, just say, so Jackson's got to get a dinner soon. So, right. come on. We've got 20 minutes with Steve, so let's make it. Well, yeah. And I'm not having a go at you, Jackson, either, by the way. I'm oh, well, he has goes at me every no, day. No, I'm not I having a go at you. Yeah, 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 okay. That's fine. I even have goes at Jackson when he walked in when I'm eating dinner. Keep going. Tips or plans if you had to start all over again? Um, I, I, I would... I would... Um, I, I, would I would definitely um, work on myself first. I would work again on myself first mm. and, you know, sometimes to go f- – or no, not sometimes, always. To go faster, you've got to go slower. And the the greatest rush we have in life is quickly trying to get there. I think that if I had it all my time again, um, I would have just spent more time being more diligent, understanding um, – why how things work why things work and if i had the knowledge i had i have now you know it, it would be i'd be in a very different place mm. i'd be in a very different place because to- you wouldn't you wouldn't listen to the outside influences you wouldn't you know have someone tell you oh i wouldn't be doing that and then you go oh, maybe they're right mm. you know you'd back yourself and it takes a long time to it seems arrogant you know nearly but you've got it you know oh, what happens on a plane when it's going down? Who do you put the oxygen on first? You put it on yourself. Mm. And I think it's the same. You've got to work, you've got to understand it yourself so you're not listening to the outside influences that don't know any better. Um, and then what will happen then? And, and then, the, then the second thing I do is surround myself. I'd actively try and surround myself with people who are on the same page. Mate, that's the truest thing yeah. ever. Yeah. Like, the people who are around you is a great indication of where you're going. Yeah, it's like it's like in here in the factory. We're in the factory today doing a podcast with you. If I'm training with Bryce or Jacko, you push yourself harder. Jordan yeah. doesn't bother coming, but it's like if you you push yourself harder, you naturally do. Yeah. So if I'm around you talking about wealth, I'm at work with Jordan. You push yourself harder. You know, and you've got people around you like the drinking and drugging and this and that. It's going to be it's different. Yeah. Yeah. And you listen to them. Even if you think you're not, you're listening to them. Mm. It's like when, um, you, it's probably worse for girls, but when your parents say, you're wearing that, and they question themselves. Well, mm. it's the same. When, you, when you've got someone who you realise they don't know any better, but they go, oh, what do you know? What are you thinking? It gets in. Mm. It gets in your head. It does. So you, it's, it's knowledge um, and, and the people you're around. That's the key, mm. I think. One more question. And then we're just going to have a bit of a freestyle before we yeah. have to finish. This one's from Rishab. He says, love the podcast, guys. My question for Steve is, where do I start with my time management? Yeah, I like that. It's a good question. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> the, the most important thing I find, I, I've found, is you've got everybody thinks that they're overwhelmed and they've got too much on. Um the answer and, and I and I get it. it. When I showed you that book the other day, like that's that's a big day, right? That's a, a day of if you read what I put on there, it's not get the washing. It's not get the washing. It was speak to the lawyers, do this, follow this up. You know, it was all legal matters as well as documents, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it gets overwhelming for everybody. And I think it's really important that people understand that that even when you think you've got it right, you still get to the office thinking, Oh my God, what am I what have I got on today? Um, so the answer for me is you've got to start, if you've never done it, you've got to start with getting it out of your head, write it down and just do one to two things. That'll do you. That'll do you. And literally take a break and reward yourself. Go, I've done it. I might go and go for a walk now. Mm. I've, I've got that finished. But really get it done. Really get it done. Mm. You know, it's like the pull of I didn't make my bed. That'll be all right. Well, no, it won't because you'll know you didn't make your bed. Mm. you know so the way you do one thing is the way you do everything so 
I think that you've got to really get the one or two things done and then you'll realise, wow, this really makes a difference, getting 30 things done a month mm. or 60 things done a month. If you really write down and have a look at what you've achieved, if, if you're a mess, I say just write down what you've really achieved today, To you know, over a week. Just write down what you really got done and you'll find that there was nothing. Mm. There was actually nothing. Mm. So yeah, a whole lot of... Yeah, spinning wheels. Spinning wheels. Mm. It's like I, 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 I said to my busy. daughter. I said it's like the kid on a bicycle in the mud watching his mates ride down the road. He's trying to get to his mates and he's pedaling harder than his mates, but he's in the mud and mm. he's spinning his back wheel. Mm. You've just got to get out of the mud mm. and and just ride down the road. One of the things I've really taken away from what you do, and it's great, and I'm starting to do the same thing now, is. When something significant, like a milestone, I've, I love the milestone thing. You you got your whole life wired like that, yeah. And you sent me a watch the other day, and and you're like, oh, here's the next milestone for you, or something like that. And it was a gold Rolex or something, and it was a Patek. A, thanks, a Patek. Mate. Sorry, yeah, oh, that's it. Oh my god, and, um, unbelievable. And, and it's it's like, a bit more respectful. Yeah, than that. it's like I had a hundred grand or something. I, I just couldn't wear yeah, one like that. I was it's, actually impressed. You even asked me. You went, "Wow, how much is that?" Yeah, I was interested. I was impressed. Like you actually some, asked me the price. Some Not ridiculous just, amount. I thought Did it was going to be all oh, right. Yeah, but it <laughs> um, but it's a it's a great thing, like phenomenal, yeah. and I think everybody should do it. So. Yeah. Like Jordan, if he sells 10 properties in a month, yeah. then he should set something that he really wants because I think it. it's appropriate and, yep. and I think you feel very steady. Yep. It's almost like exciting yep. and you're working towards something mm. rather than just, oh, I'll just get it here or... Oh, I've got a good point yeah, on that. Please, that, that elaborate on it. Yeah, it's it's life-changing. It's, if, you f- if you can afford it, fly business class, don't fly economy because what will happen is you'll fly economy and you'll go, oh, this is okay, uh, it's okay. I'll cop it and I've only got to work this hard for it. No, no. You've got to work that hard for it. You've got to work harder. So fly business class, see what it's like, see the fact that you can go into a lounge. If you can afford it. I'm not saying I'm not, everyone fly business class, right? But if you can afford no, it's it. That's true. Fly business class. That's true. And because you'll go, I want this. I want this. Man, and I won't I'm go unless work. I fly that. I know. And I haven't done for years now because it's like, it's true though. I got a phone call from this one the other morning at an airport. <laughs> oh, then what was I thinking? There's people everywhere. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah, but it's fantastic. And uh, those little wins are so good. You know, yeah. like like Tara wants a ring, this certain ring. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, where's my milestone? That's how I think now. Yeah. I'm like, uh, instead of just buying it, it's like, yeah. where's my milestone? And I'll get that But you ring. appreciate it so much more. I do. Because then you, you, every time you it see it. It becomes exciting. It becomes exciting. Yeah. And every time you see it, you go, I did that. So how did I do that then? Why can't I do that now? Yeah. I can, and if I got from there to there, I can go from there to there. Yeah. And same as with Jackson. Like Jackson could learn that now. Yeah. It's such a good thing. Even if it's $500, like it save $500 in the bank and then I'm going to go, I don't know, buy a pair of shoes or yeah. something. So it's always like forward. What have you got to ask Steve why he's here? We've got 10 minutes to go. I've asked most of my right. questions. Um, I'm more interested to, to I, I like everything that you've said but for a young person even when I give you a hard time you like it <laughs> I, I love hard times okay perfect yeah I love hard times I say that to him you cry when I do it <laughs> no I like, cry Man, storm out don't I, talk to me for three hours I cry after yeah <laughs> I, I've learned to love Matt's yeah, yeah. mate Olympic athletes, coaches, don't tell them they're perfect and they, oh, they can't right. improve on Jordan everything. Jordan wants to yeah. cuddle that's every day. I think every time. And I'm like, yeah. practice, Cause, practice, Because I'm always like, can I, is there just anything that I can do perfect? <laughs> <laughs> no. So what do you got to ask Steve? Anything? I was going to say, well, for, for, for myself in a mm. business or a young person, like how can we, I know you said it has to be slow and it needs to be a process, but I like to try and do things that would take 20, 30 years in 10. And I, can that be done? And like, what can you see that I could do to ha- move have, my career bigger, bigger better, goals then. bigger goals? Yeah, can I can I abbreviate that? Yeah. Knowing Jordan, sorry to yeah. jump in, but yeah. I know exactly what he's saying. Jordan's in such a rush, yeah. And I'm like, mate, everything you want is on its way. You yeah. can't do anything else. Like, and he's but like, the, but the, you've got to say, okay. I, I think the answer there is you've got to say it's got to come down to: Are you enjoying the thing you're doing? So are you enjoying being at McGrath? Are you enjoying selling houses? Are you enjoying the process of getting better at taking social media to the new to a new level? Like I've seen some of your stuff now with the houses you're listing. It's great. Mm. Like I go, oh, I've actually seen a couple that I go, oh, I was going to ring him and ask him how much that was. No, I don't want to. Mm. You know? Mm. No, but yeah. it's good, right? Mm. So if you're enjoying that part of the process, then 
that's key. Grow that. And then the other things just happen over here. They, they, they shouldn't be, they shouldn't divert from that. So you shouldn't be going, I want to buy nine houses and think about the houses and the houses. They become your work. That, that shouldn't be your work. Your work is the thing you do and you've got to enjoy it and you've got, mm. to, you've got to drive it and you've got to enjoy the fact that you've got five more listings and that your social media is on point and you might be talking to someone about doing some AI around it and that's and guess what? The other things will just happen because you'll spit off this cash from doing this really well and you'll buy one and you'll buy one. It'll sneak up on you. It will sneak mm, up on you. That's so true. That, this is, so I've got a rule. That, that, that if, this is, if, if, if there's a line that is time and this is success, the unfortunate thing is it's very flat. Mm. It's very flat. And then it just goes vertical. Mm. The time is so short and you, you'll get so much success. And you go, how did that happen? Well, you won't because it, you will have got it by then. You will have built on it. I don't think I, – I think you've got to say – what do I want those things for? So I've heard you say you want a Ferrari. You'll drive it once and think this is shit. But that's beside the point. You'll hate it. <laughs> My old dreams. Down yeah. and down, down but, the Google. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. yeah you, you're We're drive, crushing them, Jordan. So he's yeah. like, buy a model yeah. Ferrari and be done no, with he's, it. Saying, yeah, exactly. he's saying buy four other properties, Jordan. No, I'm actually saying buy the Ferrari. Yeah. I'm mm. actually saying buy the Ferrari. But the point is, if you really break it down, right? Really break it down. So you, just on that with the yeah. Ferrari, we've got f- literally five minutes, yeah. but... I'm okay oh, for time. No, oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, there's oh, that's a couple right, of things. Sorry, sorry, yeah. oh, we're going to get you back on yeah, very soon. Fine, well, I could ask you a million yeah. things. So with the Ferrari, keep the thought of train of thought. When do you buy the Ferrari? When the when you when aha uh-huh, when it doesn't matter anymore to keep it. So for example, so you, so you can just afford it. And, and you, do you just buy it with cash? Of course. And just that's of it. Of course. Otherwise, you can't afford it. Right. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, because it's so it's got to be the thing. It's got to be the reward that can just sit there, and you can open the garage and go look at that. And it's got to remind so you. When you got a, a cool million just sitting there, you don't need it. You can just go buy it. Well, no, just, you, I mean, you, you you budget it into what you're going to do. You yeah. budget it into your life, so it can't be Ferrari first, property second, yeah. because the property will keep on going, and then you've missed the boat. Right, mm. the Ferrari's not going to keep on going in value. Mm. So it's got to be investment, investment, investment. I've, I'm up to number four and, I've, and, and on the way through, I'm just putting this cash away. On the way through, I'm putting this cash away. The point I was going to make was they're not a million dollars, right? So let's say the new Ferrari is 500 grand. Let's say you add up everything you really want and you, and you want a $500,000 Ferrari. Mm. You want um, a nice house and you want, um, I don't know what you want. And you want um, a, a nice car to drive and you want a jet. I don't know. There, there's all the things, right? Mm. You're, you're going to be able to achieve those just by concentrating on the work, just by growing the work. And but getting real gonna, good. And getting really good at that. But you're not going to get them by just concentrating on the jet mm. or just concentrating on the Ferrari and going, I want that now because that's a reward to me and I'm going to lease it and I'm going to work harder to get it. And I'm going to – because you know what you'll end up with? The Ferrari. Mm. If you do it in the right order, and you sent me that text the other day and I said just mm. the order. Yeah, the order. Yeah? yeah. So the order of things is – the investments first. The investments. It can be in the, the middle. The works first. The mm. investments second. Second. The the toys in the middle. You got to reward yourself. So buy the mm. Ferrari in the middle. Then More the nice it. house. Once two yeah. of these have gone up in value enough that you sell them, and now you've got the nicer house. And now you then you work on the jet or whatever it might be. You know. The, yeah. You, yeah. That's you work like on a, it. That's working. like yeah. number five. You work on it in, in that order, but it's got to be this thing. That I figure that when you lease the car, you lease the Ferrari, it's not tax deductible. Anyone who tells you it's tax deductible, it's not. There's fringe benefits tax on it if you're financing mm. them. Mm. There's all these costs associated with it. If you can't mm. afford to pay cash for it, and more than that, pay cash for it and not think about it and not have to sell it. You don't want to be opening your garage door and going, I should sell that because I should buy this with it. That's another investment. It means you didn't want it enough. It's funny you said that, just jumping in quickly. I've got all these goals in my mirror that I wake up. Matt wrote, scrap your goals, just write on top of it, number one prospector, and that'll all happen. Yeah, it's true. And it's true. I, I keep, every day I'm like, far out, he's so right. So You've got to have the goals. You've got to have the goals. Other, no, because otherwise, the getting up and prospecting at yeah. that time. It's the reason why it. you it's do it. It's the reason why. Yeah. It's the reason yeah. why. Are you on the coast this weekend? Yeah. Can I please get you on while you're up here yeah, for done. one more? Yeah. Are you on the coast this weekend, mm. Jackson? Yeah. 
I yeah. thought you guys were coming to help me put furniture in the new house. We'll do whatever for you. <laughs> we'll do whatever for you. I'll be you. there at seven in the morning, furniture I've being I've got delivered. to stop now, um, right. but I, can we get you on tomorrow again or yeah. on Sunday or whatever day yeah, yeah, suits you? Yeah, okay, great. Thanks. All right. Done. I'll see you next one. See you guys.